Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to pick up some documents and read what's inside and then put the document back down. Here is an example. And this will allow you to put documents all around the levels and you can put clues and things inside uh, for puzzles. The first thing you need to do is create an NFT. Uh, it is free to do and that will be what we put inside the frame which pops up when you open up the document. So the first thing you need to do is log in to OpenSea.io and you also need a MetaMask wallet. All of this is free. And once you're inside the website, click your profile up in the top right and click Create. It will bring up this page here. Now this is where we can create our NFT. Now you'll need to put in a image. So we just have a picture of a document and you give it a name. External link you don't need to worry about. Description you don't really need to worry about for this purpose. Um, we can skip all of this as well. And it has to be on the Ethereum blockchain. And we only need one in our case. Because we're not gonna sell this NFT. It's just used for the purposes of our game. So once we click create, we just need to check that we're not a robot and click on some cars, verify. And it will process now. And once it's created, we'll copy the link and bring it into Game Maker so we can see it inside. Okay, you created a document, fantastic. Now this is our NFT. All we're gonna do here is copy the address that is given us for our NFT that we just created. Remember this does not cost any money. Inside Game Maker, we need to bring up a frame. So if you cl click L and type in frame, you'll get a whole bunch of frames. In this example, we're gonna use the street sign frame. In our components, we're gonna select NFT image display. This only pops up for valid frames. And in the asset URL, we're gonna click and paste our link of our NFT that we just made. Now when we click validate, it will process and then it should let us put our NFT that we just created inside this frame for viewing. Okay, once that's complete, click continue and you will see the NFT is displayed inside the frame. We want to scale so it's resized, and when we resize it, it will fit inside the frame perfectly. Now when we uh, click tab to have a look, you should see our frame with our readable NFT. And this alone is good for posters and stuff around your uh, metaverse. But what we want now is to put it to a document so when we pick up the document, it reveals itself for us to read. And when we put the document down, it disappears. So the first thing we're gonna do is put down a bunch of documents. This is just an asset that we made in VoxEdit for this example. We're gonna give this document uh, collisions and gravity so it falls to the ground when you drop it. We're also gonna have a pickable component and we wanna set the offset to maybe about minus 1.5 or maybe just 1.5. Now that will offset it in a Z, so when we pick it up, it's further away from us. Uh, this will allow this to be readable, I'll show you in a moment. Put opacity up to 100, and the message we wanna send when picked up is doc uh, picked, and message on drop is the same thing, doc picked. Fantastic. Now we're gonna go ahead and put down a numpad for some logic. Any small asset will do, you can use whatever you want. We're not gonna be seeing this asset. So we turn it invisible and we'll remove collisions. So that way it's not interactable. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a behavior called active property. Active property will allow us to toggle things on and off for visibility and collisions. In this case, we want to interact with the doc picked. So we're going to go ahead and the message to activate will be doc picked. It's going to send it as a toggle and we want to send the collisions and visibility on and off. 
and we want to send it to specific tags in range. So that range uh, can be as big as you want. It just needs to be within the documents area. And the tag we're going to give is doc. We'll go ahead to our frame and we'll give it the same tag, doc. Now, when we pick up the document, we'll, sh we'll give you an example of what we've just done. Pick up the document, the document disappears. When we press E again, it pops up again. The reason for this is because when we pick up the document, the message is being sent, doc picked. It's going to this actor property, which then tells uh, any tag with doc to turn invisible on and off. Cool? Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and parent these objects together. So we'll just uh, call this one AAA holder and this one AAA. This just makes it easier for us to find in the hierarchy. So if we type in AAA up the top, you can see we've got our two and we want to put the document and that together. So when we move the document, that also moves as well. Cool. And all we do here is we're going to move this document in front and something like that. We're going to have no collisions for this and we don't want to see it at the beginning. Now if we press tab, you can see we see the document. Now if we make it not invisible, you can see we still see that document. So we need something to send that message out so we don't see it at all. Um, we want to send a message doc picked right at the beginning. So what we can do here is press D and we'll go ahead and, um, and we can put it on the existing one here. So we'll put on a speaker and a speaker is going to detect entity. We can go ahead and get rid of all of these. It's not very important. And we're going to change the message. So when it detects the entity, which is our avatar, it's going to send a message doc picked and we only want that to happen once. So now when we press tab and do a test, we no longer see the uh, frame. And now when we press E to pick up our documents, you can see we can see our document, but it's not exactly the way we want it aligned, but that's the basic concept. So we'll go ahead and we can just go ahead and move this down, rotate it so it faces your camera, and then you just adjust it accordingly. You know, you might want to move it back a bit. It might be a bit too close this time. But that's how you do it. So now we have a document that we can pick up and read. And when we press E and drop it, it drops to the floor. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Have a great day.